everyone, my name is Maria and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to discuss about the Site Observation Report or what we call SOR. In my previous video, I show you the structure of the different uh, submetals and then I show you the structure of the NCR or Non-Conformance Report. Now, it's time for the Site Observation Report. Uh, I'll show you the structure of how you will do this on your system. At least, you have an idea on how to do it the moment that you sit on your chair. <music> first time to visit my channel my name is Maria and this channel gives you a lot of ideas on how to do the work of a document controller especially for those who are new on this kind of field and who really have no experience in the site in the site construction field site observation or what we call SOR is like a uh, same as I discussed with the NCR these are the uh, violations that the engineers see the moment that they inspect on site but but in difference with the NCR, NCR is a little bit uh, heavy, you know, it's a, a little bit heavy uh, violations, although this SOR is also um, violations, yeah. uh, for example, uh, the engineers go to site and they see that a uh, contractor, whoever labors or whoever are working on the site, they have no safety devices or they didn't follow the method of statement of how, of how to do the procedure of uh, installing or or a painting or something like this method of statement material submittal if they are not following the approve of this material submittal method statement and shop drawing and they don't have any uh, safety devices the moment that they are working on site so these are uh, the violations that usually uh, encounter when we issue the site observation report and since I am on the consultancy so we are the one who are issuing Showing uh, this site observation report. In the NCR, uh, once we receive the NCR, the contractor are submitting the proposal and then the implementation. So before they go for the implementation, the proposal should be approved by the engineer. Whereas in the site observation report or what we call SOR, they will just uh, one step, okay? They will just submit the closer sure. <laughs> SOR closer sure closer shit. Oh my god. The SOR closer shit report. Okay, so these are uh, only one step. Or oh, sometimes uh, this a uh, closer shit. Sometimes the engineer approve if they are not satisfied for the rectification, for the modification, or whatever the violations that they have uh, received from us. And uh, so sometimes they reject, sometimes it's approved and closed. So in your system, you will have a main folder of site observation report or what we call uh, SOR. And then inside that one, the SOR, what we issue, the reference number and the subject and the closer sheet. And also we need to keep the revisions. It is very important uh, to know uh, which one uh, is the latest revisions that approve when they submit the closer sheet for a certain SOR. A site observation report is the report which documents the general and the detailed observations a worker or inspector makes on site on a particular day and at a particular time. Here we go guys, how to do the structure of site observation report on your system. I am hoping that you will learn something from this or at least you have this idea on how you will do this on your system. So when you go on your system, you have a main folder, uh, Site Observation Report, or we call it in short as SOR. So when you click uh, this folder, uh, SOR main folder, you will, you will create a subfolder 
or another folder and you will put there the SOR reference number. For example, SOR reference number number 1, 2, 3, and 4. It depends. Ha? I don't know if other companies, uh, they separate SOR for the civil, um, electrical, architectural, or mechanical. Uh, but for me and based on my experience, uh, all SOR that we issued, these are all general numbers. So, it is a continuous number that we issued from time to time uh, the moment that our inspector or our engineer uh, see something violations in sight. Before we go on the closer sheet report, uh, by the way guys, uh, it is also okay if you uh, put a short uh, subject or the subject after the SOR number. At least it will be easy uh, for you to track of whatever um, um, descriptions or subject that issued in a certain uh, SOR number. So after that, after we issued uh, after we issued this SOR to the contractor, SOR now uh, will uh, submit to us the closure sheet for this uh, violation for this uh, SOR that we that that they receive from us. The moment that you receive this uh, SOR closure sheet number, uh, you will make this revision 00 because the first the first submission it will consider as revision 00. Sometimes um, the engineers uh, they will reply as approved, uh, so it will be closed, and sometimes it will be rejected because they are not satisfied for the modification or for whatever. Uh, um, uh, things or steps or actions that they do at site. So sometimes it will be rejected. Sometimes they will submit revision 01, revision 00, revision 02. So you need to uh, keep a folder, a subfolder after disclosure sheet number. You will put the revision 00, revision 001. This will help you to track uh, whatever is the latest revisions approved by the engineer for a certain SOR number. So guys, I hope that uh, these things will help you a lot or you will have a little idea on how you will do uh, this structure on your system uh, the moment that you sit on your chair or the moment that you encounter uh, this site observation report. This is very important because at the end of the project, uh, this SOR and this NCR, they need to uh, close it before the project ends. Otherwise, it will, it, uh, it will be sometimes deducted on whatever is the uh, last payment that they will receive or they really need to uh, close whatever NCR that had been issued to them okay so I hope that uh, these things will help you I hi guys today's video I'm going to show you the structure of the NCR and the NCR closer sheet on my previous video, I show you the different structure of the of the submittals like shop drawing, as built, material submittal, method statement, document transmittal, pre-qualification, and RFI. All of this I show you in my previous video. And now I'm going to show you the NCR and the NCR closer sheet. So at least you have an idea. Hello, well, my name is Maria, and this channel will give you a lot of ideas on how to do the work of a document controller, especially for those who are beginner in this kind of field and also a person who is searching a job on this kind of field. What is NCR? This is a non-conformance report uh, issued by the consultant engineer to the contractor. For example, they go on site and they see a lot of violations like uh, material submittal, they install without uh, approved shop drawing, something like this, or they don't have any uh, safety devices while on work. So these are the um, samples, uh, kinds of um, violation uh, seen on the site the moment that the engineers uh, go on inspections. So you are receiving this NCR and you are receiving this from your engineer. For me, I am in the consultant side, so we are the one who are issuing this NCR to contractor and some of this NCR uh, they are giving I think uh, three days I don't know if the other company are same as with us but uh, for my previous job and this on my current job uh, this NCR is only giving a uh, three days maximum 
to repair or to follow whatever the instructions and violations like to fix the damages uh, to close this NCR. When we issue this NCR to the contractor, so this is always urgent. We need it to issue before the cut-off time or early in the morning if you receive it from the engineer um, after cut-off time. Some of the engineers, they already preparing this NCR because we are distributing these templates to them. And then you will just update the and see our number and the dates and all we will just check if it is okay the printout and all uh if if they uh put if they need if the photos are needed to put in the you know in the attachment like with your logo or something so these are the um the job of a document controller but sometimes you are the one who will issue this ncr so all of the templates all of the drops for the ncr you will get it from your engineer and you will just copy and paste to the templates of the ncr okay so you issue this ncr and everything are okay so you issue this ncr to the contractor on the contractor side uh, they need to submit proposal on how they will fix these damages or how they will fix the issue that's seen on site so so this proposal sometimes okay uh, during the submission sometimes the engineer approve this proposal sometimes they reject so sometimes you will see that uh, if you given the rejection you will again uh, need to submit the revise of this NCR for the proposal because this is uh, two option okay one is the proposal and if it is one approved you will also resubmit it for the implementation of that proposal so then they will check it if it is implemented okay so they will approve and they will close the ncr if not they will reject so something like this so the moment that you uh submit and reject this uh ncr so you will make this revision one for example uh when you uh when you receive the revision zero one it is approved on the revision one so your implementation will also be the closer sheet will be on the revision zero one so it will be tallied on this um proposal approval and the implementation of the approval so in this structure that i will show you you will see that uh, you will have subfolder for the proposal and for the implementation so at least you have one um folder for any uh, ncrs ncr numbers and when the moment that they open that ncr numbers they will see the approval for the proposal and the approval for the implementation how to do the structure of non-conformance report or we call it as ncr a non-conformance report, non-conformity report, or NCR, is a design and construction-related document that addresses issues where there has been a deviation from the project specification or where work has failed to meet the agreed quality standards. Okay guys, as you as you will see in the screen, uh, we have the main folder and we call it non-conformance report or we call it in short as NCR. This is uh, when you open on your system, in your server, you will have a main folder that call as NCR. Next is when you open this uh, NCR folder. So you will make a new folder, a subfolder, wherein you will put the NCR reference number and the subject of that NCR. Okay, okay guys. And inside that, when you click for example, NCR number 001. So in the NCR 001, uh, you will have two uh, subfolders again. One for the proposal approval and the other one is the implementation approval. So, um, in the at first, uh, the contractor will submit the proposal. So you will uh, save your soft copies in the proposal uh, folder, where uh, it state what is the NCR closer sheet number. So usually, uh, whatever is the NCR number, it is same for the closer sheet number so it will be tally like that uh, in some cases it is like that so if for example this um 
proposal in the first submission it was approved then uh, they will uh, resubmit the implementation and they will use the same reference number and uh, revisions and then um, when you receive that implementation approval submission soft copies and the commented one you will put in the implementation folder so in one folder one NCR number, there will be a subfolder for proposal and implementation subfolder. And inside this subfolder, subfolder for the proposal and the implementation, you will also need to put the revisions because sometimes uh, the proposal will be rejected. And at the same time, this implementation implementation will also be rejected so you need uh, also to put inside that uh, each subfolder the revision so at least it is clear when they are asking for the ncr number what is the story or what is the status of this uh, closer sheet uh, ncr number then it they will see it in one file in one they will see the proposal and the implementation guys i hope that you learned something from this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my next vlog and if this video will help for your friends and friends of your friends for your neighbors for your neighbors of your neighbors please don't hesitate to share it and i am so thankful and grateful for all your lovely comments Thank you so much for all my subscribers and for my upcoming new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. I'm really, really grateful and blessed uh, that you are uh, still there <laughs> to support me on my journey on my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you on my next vlog, guys.